Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your video in Filmora 10. So I know that is a very basic uh, tutorial. By the way, there are many of you ask me how to export the video with a watermark and how to uh, get the best video quality when exporting video using Filmora 10. So that's why I want to make this tutorial for you. All right. Okay, so this is an example project. It's just a project of uh, uh, some uh, wedding clips uh, that I've, I got from my friends. So supposing I finish the project and now I want to uh, export the project to a final output. Uh, so uh, remember, before you click on the export button, you need to log into your account. If you don't have the, uh, if you don't log into your account, when you click on export, you will see this window. So, so this window tell you to buy the software or you can uh, just export, click on export with, with watermark, then uh, you, you need to create an account. So now I'm going to click on that. Uh, I already have my account, uh, Wondershare, uh, Wondershare account. So I'm going to log in now. Uh, let's say this is uh, my email address. Of course, I will blur this, uh, this part because I don't want you to see my email address. So there is an export uh, window of one uh, of Filmora 10. You see, we have some tab here, the local uh, that is on your computer with some, uh, some video format uh, such as MP4, WMP, so, so many here. And if you want to export only the audio, you can uh, select M MP3. So remember, this local is saved to your computer. And now we have the device. So Wondershare Filmora 9 have some device for you to choose. By the way, there's nothing here. They just uh, change the resolution because each device will have different size. Uh, size means resolution. And uh, right here, well, we have a YouTube tab. Uh, this means that you need to sign in with your YouTube account. Uh, it will upload the video directly to YouTube uh, using your account uh, in Wondershare, but it is not recommended because uh, it made the, I, I got the, the errors uh, all the time. So I'm not uh, recommended you to upload directly to uh, YouTube, although that's uh, all the information here is okay. And Vimeo is the same. It is a video sharing site, so you can need your account too. And this is a DVD option. Uh, you can burn your video into a DVD. But uh, to be honest, I never use this one because I don't produce a DVD. Okay, so let's go back to the local. All right, so normally when I export video and for uploading to YouTube, I will select uh, MP4. And at this uh, option, I can uh, type my video name, uh, my test project. And this is the location where where is uh, where my output output file will be saved. So remember to have a enough empty space on uh, your hard drive. And you see here, this is the size size of the video, the frame rate, and the resolution. Uh, normally, it's uh, okay to uh, to click on this spot, but uh, we can go further with the setting. Okay, so this is the setting. The more setting in your export tab, and the first thing you need to choose the best video quality. Remember to choose the best video quality. Then uh, you see that the bit rate has, has been increased and this is a codec, uh, but uh, actually we, we can leave it by default. Uh, it is to uh, 64. And uh, the only thing you need to change is the bit rate because it's very important to increase the bit rate to get the best video quality. For a YouTube video, you can select 20,000. Uh, if you want to export for your client, maybe you can ch uh, choose 100,000 or something. 100,000 or 80,000 uh, kilobits per second be fine. Then uh, you click OK and then now you are ready to uh, click the export button. Okay. And but uh, remember when you choose a higher bit rate, uh, the, your video size will be bigger. Okay. So, uh, if you choose 80,000, the, the size of the video will be very big. So it's, it's up to you uh, to choose which, uh, to choose the, the number of bit rate uh, you want to export. I normally choose only uh, 20,000 kilobit per second for my uh, YouTube video. So I think this quality is good enough. And of course, you can also enable your GPUs acceleration. And finally, click on export button and you are ready to go. 
All right, so that is how simple you can export your video using Filmora 10. I hope this tutorial can help you understand about how to export the video. If you want to remove the watermark, you need to purchase a license. And I also have a discount coupon code for Filmora 10. It's 20% discount coupon code in the description below. So you can check it out and purchase the software and save your money. Uh, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.